Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading for the month of July 2020. You can book your reading with me on my website at aquilaastrology.com. So let's get started on your reading Capricorn. So it seems like the relationship dynamics for your month starts off with um, a real big um, change in the power dynamics in the relationship. There seems to be a lot of reflection on how the relationship is going, what the two of you are doing, um, and is does there need to be a big change in the relationship that you're in right now if you're coupled? Your view on the relationship right now, Capricorn, is that you would really like um, something of um, security, something that's long-lasting. It seems like you you want the commitment. You want to be in a relationship that is fulfilling to you, that has some type of um, weight in in you know in the real world. You want you want security. You want somebody to take you seriously. Um, you may not be getting that right now in your relationship. You you may want maybe marriage and and maybe if you're in a marriage, maybe you want. Uh, maybe your partner to be a little bit more committed to you, more more traditional with you. Um, so it seems to me like you just you want more order in the relationship, and right now it doesn't seem like there's that. Your partner's view on the relationship to me it seems like your partner has their guards up. Um, they may feel like they're um, they're just um, maybe defensive on a lot of ends. Um, there could be situations that, uh, are happening with your partner where they may feel alone in the relationship, um, or may, they, they may feel like they are being attacked, uh, by either you or people in, or people in your circle or something like that. Um, but your partner definitely feels like it's been a battle zone for the two of you guys. Um, this is why this definitely has to be a big change in the relationship that is happening now with you guys. So this month is definitely going to herald in a lot of that. And, you know, this month on July 5th, there will be a lunar eclipse in your sign, Capricorn. This is definitely going to be changing a lot of things in your life for the next six months to a year. So definitely look out for that um, this month. And the last card that we have, um, which is the truth of the situation, is both both you and your partner are in a situation where you both um, have the freedom to get yourselves out of whatever you're in. It just seems to me like at the end of everything this month, uh, whatever uh, was going on between the two of you, mentally you guys are going to have to either talk about it, deal with it, say what's been on your mind that you've been feeling has been repressed or 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 not whatever the case is there needs to be either some kind of conversation because somebody feels like they have to be defensive somebody wants a traditional relationship and and wants to have a partner with maybe the, a partner where they can commit which is you commit to and and be loyal to and and and, and build but your partner is just feeling like they are they have been fighting you know and um the death card 13 in reverse speaks to the eclipse to me that's going to be happening at the 13th degree of Capricorn this month. So a lot is going to be changing this month, Capricorn, you know, and you may be looking at yourself differently. You may be having to do different things this month. Um, but remember that you guys both can talk about this this month. Let it out. If it comes out, it's going to come out. If you want to know more, you want to book a personal reading that can help you with your relationship, you can book one with me at AquilaAstrology.com um, on my website and enjoy your Eclipse Capricorn. See you. Bye.